so we're back in Australia in Perth again and we're just here for a holiday just about two or three weeks and um, we just drove past this um, suburb city beach very well, well known suburb in Western Australia it's right next to the beach and um, we just saw a food forest that they have created and I want to show you what they're growing here this is city beach. I'll just show you the beach real quick before I take you on the food forest what kind of plant and food that they could grow over here because when we live here we try to go grow some as well but you know with the small space up in the suburban, suburban area it's very um, limited in growing stuff but um, this place when I saw it from the distance, it's kind of big. And we will see. I think I found it. I just saw corn, bananas from the plants. Yeah, it is. I think it is. Um, I just saw some. Mulberry, I believe, with that compost there. Yeah. I'm not sure what that one is. This one, look like this. Look at this pumpkin. Gorgeous. So that one is yellow, this one is pink. So you've got some more um, pumpkin here. So this is summertime in Perth, in Western Australia. So everything is a bit dry at the minute. So this must be planted in springtime. must be their compost see ah oh, this one is different kind of pumpkin it's got a slightly lighter color so 
but this one is the compost heap very cool fruit and vegetable scrap only so yeah this must be a fake tree <coughs> here Oh my very I'm not sure. I don't know what that is. Which is cool. And they've got a lot of corn going on as well. Corns. Go. And then this zucchini. Some kind of fruit tree here, I'm not sure, or tree, I'm not sure. There's the, the snake bean. It's like different color than a typical snake bean, which is nice. Some spring on the end. Cool. Mm. Some butterflies everywhere, so you know that it's not chemical in here. And also, there is chili custard apple. Wow. That's supposed to be a tropical um, fruit. And you, they've got squats going on here and lots of tomato growing wild. <clears throat> Cucumber. Here, a big one. Don't know if you can see it. And some more snake bean or bean. I'm not sure what type of bean that is. And then capsicum. Lots of it. I believe this is sweet potato and they are growing wild. Look at them. They also got um dragon fruit right here. Lots of dragon fruit right here. I believe that is mango. Should say it here. Yes. It is mango. It's already fruiting. Wow. And then, oh, what type of eggplant is this one? It's supposed to look like Asian variety. Lots of dragon fruit, eggplant. Ah. Pineapple. I wonder if it's gonna fruit in this climate because it's supposed to be tropical. But, um, yeah. So this one is orange. Oh, I know what this one called now. Silver beet. The one that got many different colors, yellow, purple, 
This one is white. Another, oh, avocado. Chinese cabbage. So here we go. Look at this flower. Beautiful. Oh, this is garlic. Nice. So this is, must be their water system that they use. So this is supposed to be community food forest. Thank you. This one must be grapes. Look at that pumpkin. Massive. I don't know if this is grapes. Oh, sweet potato or potato growing everywhere. This one must be parsley. So I support they can collect the seed for later for the next season of growing. So that one must be ginger, if I'm correct. So yeah, they got more stuff around here as well. And lots of lots of mint. Here we go. Mint and then chocolate mint different type of mint over here nice wow and then Italian basil hmm. celery yeah cucumber I'm not sure what that is. And then we got more stuff over here. I don't know what this is. So that one is peanut tree. Um, more pumpkin. It's a messy place, really. Some chili over there. Oh, is this Corsican? Yeah, beautiful. So that's it for their food forest. So there must be their like community thing going on that they do together. Which is really, really nice. Because and we've been here it's we feel like we can't win on the food over here the food over here from supermarket it's just out of reach if you don't have a lot of income so it's a shame this must be lemongrass here Um, Australia is such a beautiful country but it's just getting too expensive too much to live here so this banana starts to fruit very very impressive oh that is so good so that's it I'm just gonna walk back to the car now um, so excited to see this kind of project going on here. 
which which is very very rare to see this stuff going on in Australia I don't know about with the rest of Australia but in Perth in the su suburban area especially um, high-end suburban area like City Beach I, I, I didn't expect to see this kind of project going on here around here is basically sand dune with a little bit of crops going on but I think they are doing very impressive work on that because could you imagine growing on the sand so that compost is very necessary good on them on the track back to the car now